Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the uh, theory related with uh, soil mechanics in the topic of Laplace equation for two-dimensional flow. Okay, so we can analyze the uh, seepage pressure and seepage flow using Laplace equation. So first we have to consider this is upstream side and here is downstream side. Uh, here this uh, seed pile is there. So the flow condition, so the flow direction is towards uh, upstream to downstream side to the soil. Okay, so that is called seepage flow. Okay, so first thing we can uh, consider the one soil element. So and uh, we can find out the flow velocities for the soil element okay so first thing is uh, we can take the soil element having the depth of d z and uh, with this d x and y is uh, third dimension okay so now we can consider the two dimensional flow so the only d x and d z okay so now uh, the inflow in vertical direction is v z Okay, so the water coming out V is at plus do by do is at so do is at is the uh, change in depth into V is at into D is at okay so D is at is the height so likewise the inlet in x direction that is V x the velocity of uh, water flow in x direction is V x and water outflow is V x plus do by do x into vx into dx okay so this is the velocity of outflow okay so now we can uh, we have to know the assumptions made by the laplace so first thing is uh, soil is soil mass is uh, homogeneous and isotropic so the soil entire soil is homogeneous and as well as isotropic so then flow is uh, two dimension so the only uh, upward and horizontal dimension the flow is two dimension okay so next thing is water and soil is incompressible so then steady and the flow is steady and laminar so uh, then uh, this uh, this flow is obey the Darcy law so Darcy law we know Darcy law V is equal to Ki and uh, as well as so the flow is steady and laminar flow so then water is incompressible water and soil is incompressible okay so uh, whenever the water is uh, going this direction so it will not compress directly come outside of the down seam direction okay so these are all the assumptions made by the Laplace so now uh, we have to consider small element dx d z and dy so we know the dy direction is uh, uh, towards the uh, length okay so now so now velocity in x direction okay so now inlet so inflow so inflow is uh, v x okay so now outflow outflow is uh, v x plus do by do x into v x into dx okay so then velocity in is a direction so now inlet is v z and outflow is uh, v z plus do by do z into v z into d z okay so this is inlet and this is outlet so now we can take the quantity of water collected so the quantity of water q equal to velocity into area so now we can take the velocity into area so in x direction so in x direction v x into d z into 1 okay so now we can take the uh, dimension we don't know the dimension of y direction so we can take 1 so now the v x so v x into the d z so this is the area so we can we know and uh, the dy area we don't know so we can take the one so now in x direction q i x equal to v x into d z is the quantity of water collected same as y sorry z direction so z direction v z 
into dx into 1. Okay, so now in the q i z equal to v z into dx. So these are all the water, quantity of water is entering into the soil. Okay, so now we can take the quantity of water uh, leaving from the soil. Q out x direction is uh, same Vx plus dou by dou x into Vx into dx into dz into 1. Okay, so now we can take Q out in z direction. So now Vz plus dou by dou z into v z into d z into d x into 1 ok so now the uh, we know the quantity of water entering into the soil and uh, as well as quantity of water leaving into the soil ok so now we can assume the flow is steady and incompressible so the quantity of water entering into the soil is equal to the quantity of water leaving to the soil leaving from the soil so now we can take summation of q i x plus summation of q i z so that is the quantity of water entering into the soil in x direction then quantity of water uh, entering into the soil in z direction equal to the quantity of water in, uh, leaving from the soil from x direction as well as z direction so now we can take v x plus dou by dou x into Vx into dx into dz. Okay, so this is the quantity of water uh, leaving from the soil in x direction plus Vz into dou by dou z into Vz into dz into dx. Okay, so, so now we can form the equation. So now we can multiply uh, this dz value into uh, Vx. So now the quantity of water entering into the soil in x direction Vx into dz plus v z into dx equal to v x into d z so we can uh, multiply in uh, in v x plus do by do x into v x into d x into d z okay again plus v z into that d x again plus do by do z into v z into d z into d x okay so now we can come this side so now vx into dz plus vz into dx minus vx into dz minus dou by dou x into vx into dx into dz again minus that is vz into dx again this come this my plus will be minus dou by dou z into vz into dz into dx equal to 0. Okay, so now we can cancel plus Vx into dx here minus Vx into dz. Then here Vz into dx is plus here Vz uh, into dx is minus it will be, be cancelled. Okay, so we can multiply minus in both side. So now we can take so minus into minus plus so dou by dou x into Vx into dx into dz again this will be plus dou by dou z into vz into dz into dx equal to 0 ok so here uh, minus 0 is 0 ok so now so now we can take uh, commonly dx into dz so now we can take dx into dz equal to dou by dou x into vx again plus dou by dou z into vz equal to 0 ok so this will be cancelled 0 by anything is 0 so now we can take dou by dou x into vx again plus dou by dou z into vz equal to 0 ok and we form this equation ok so now we can take this equation as 1 so now we can take h is the h is the total head at any point okay so the component of hydraulic gradient in x direction will be i x equal to dou h divided by dou x okay this will be minus so negative sign is indicate the head is decrease in direction of flow okay so now we can take i z equal to minus dou h by dou z okay so now we know the Darcy law 
so dasila v x equal to k x into i x okay so dasila is v is equal to k into i so now we can take the x direction as well as y di is a direction okay so now v x equal to k x into the i value is do h by do x okay minus so now v x equal to minus k x into do h by do x okay so now we know the v x value as well as we can take v z equal to k z into i z so now we can take uh, minus k z into do h by do z okay so now v z so now we can substitute uh, these values in the equation 1 okay so now we can take do by do x into minus k x into do h by do x okay so again plus do by do z into minus k y into do h by do z equal to 0 so now we can multiply so now minus k x into do by do x into do h by do x okay again here also minus k y into do by do z into do h by do z equal to 0 so now we can multiply minus k x into do square h divided by do x square minus k y into do square h by do z square equal to 0 so now the soil is homogeneous so uh, k x equal to k y equal to k z so the homogeneous soil having the same value of permeability in both the uh, uh, directions so we can take the k so k x equal to k y equal to k z so equal to k we can uh, simply take an s k so now we can take uh, cross we can multiply uh, minus in both side okay multiply uh, minus in both sign we can take uh, the k into do square h by do x square minus k into do square h by do z square equal to 0 so we can take the k is common value so the common value we can take the common value so now do square h by do x square okay again into k again plus do square h by do z square equal to 0 so k is 0 by anything is 0 so now the final answer the do square h by do x square plus do square h by do z square okay equal to 0 this is the equation of laplace so this is the laplace equation for two dimensional flow okay so this is the derivation so this is the final answer of laplace equation again we will see next video thank you